Alright. So, everybody say, hey, yeah! Hey, yeah! Hey, yeah. yeah. Um, oh, actually, I'm not going to do it that way. My bad. Give me a moment. No, no, hey, yeah. This is unit one. Sorry. Lost my place. Okay, hey, yeah. Um, so, um, um, oh, yeah. Okay, she achieved success. She achieved success. She achieved success. So she achieved success. 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 No, don't help her. Don't help her. Success. She achieved success. Yeah, she achieved success. She after success was achieved. She by she. By her. There you go. You got it, Bonnie. <laughs> One more time. So she achieved success. Success was achieved by here. Nailed it. All right, cool. Everybody say, she achieved success. She achieved success. Success, success, was achieved. Success, success was achieved. Success was achieved. That's right. I've used simple past tense, and you made it past tense also with the was. Very good. All right, so Ms. ho Yan, Ms. ho Yan, Mr. Uh, uh, Ahmed here. Uh, Ahmed, um, oh, um, Ahmed has used confidence. Ahmed has used confidence. Ahmed has used confidence. Mm -hmm. Confidence uh, has been used to by Ahmed. Fantastic. Confidence has been used by Ahmed. Fantastic. That's exactly right. Everybody say, he has used. He has used. Confidence. 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 confidence has been used. Confidence has been used. I'll try to, I think we have enough time. I may be able to go twice around. We'll try that. All right, Mr. Ahmed, Mr. A Adam here. Uh, Adam, um, Adam will need intensity. Intensity will be needed by Adam. Beautiful. Exactly right. Yeah. He will need intensity. Intensity will be needed. Right on. Mr. Adam. Uh, uh, we're talking about uh, Muhammad here. Uh, next to you. Muhammad, um, um, okay. Uh, uh, Muhammad avoids interaction. Muhammad avoids interaction. Interaction or uh, that's okay. Uh, Muhammad uh, avoids interaction. Avoid. Avoid. Avoids. Avoid. Okay. Yeah. Uh, uh, Muhammad avoids interaction. Yeah. Interaction was avoid. By okay, very close. Yeah, you use a simple past tense. I'm in it like every day. Okay. Uh, what if I say like he avoids interaction every day? Well, what do you say? Uh, avoid interaction. Interaction uh, is avoided by. Uh, that's very, uh, that, that, that's what we're looking for, right? Uh, avoid it. So three syllables, right? Everybody say he avoids. He, he avoids. avoids interaction. Interaction, interaction. interaction is avoided. Interaction is avoided. 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 Yeah, three syllables. Okay, sorry, buddy. You, you'll get a second shot at it. No big deal. We'll go around the second time. All right, Mr. Muhammad, uh, talking about Jin back there. You two seem to have hit it off. You guys are good buds, huh? Yeah. All right. So uh, talking about Mr. Jin. Um, so, um, okay, he has strengthened his resilience. He has strengthened his resilience. Do you know what strengthened means? Yeah. yeah. Okay. okay, strength. Okay, yeah, right. Now, he has strengthened his resilience. Give it a shot. His resilience has been strengthened. That's it. That's right. Very good. All right. Cool. Everybody say he has. He has strengthened his resilience. His resilience has been strengthened. Right on. All right, Mr. Jin. Talking about Mr. Sean here. Um, so, Mr. Jin. Um, Easy one, sir. So, Sean. Um, Okay, uh, Sean hired many volunteers. Sean hired many volunteers. Many volunteers was hired 
Okay, very close. Yeah, you, you are, no, no, you got the right verb tense, but it's uh, plural, so many volunteers. Uh, many volunteers were mm -hmm. hired mm -hmm. by Sean. That's it? Yeah, so everybody say Sean. Sean. Um, hired many. Volunteers. Many, many volunteers. Many volunteers. Yeah, yeah. We're hired. We're hired. Uh, by Sean. By Sean. Yeah. Okay, that's fun. Um, and you know what? I'm kind of what they say, hair splitting over grammar here. I know, uh, uh, generally speaking, if you were to say was instead of were, it's not like I would be confused or anything, of course. I'm just, as far as daily interaction or whatever. All right, Mr. Sean, uh, talking about Mr. Uh, ja ja Yazid. Yazid. Sorry, brother. Yazid. Uh, so Sean, Yazid, um, okay, Yazid has intensified his studies. His studies uh, has been intensified by Yazid. Mm -hmm. Yeah, have been, that's right, yeah, that's right, yeah, mm -hmm. cool. Everybody say, his, uh, his uh, Yazid, Yazid has intensified, has intensified his studies. His studies have been, have been intensified. intensified. Right on, right on. Okay, so Mr. Yazid talking about Mr. Kareem here. Uh, Kareem. All right. Kareem maximizes his opportunity. Yeah. No, sir. Uh. <laughs> you don't agree. Kareem maximizes his opportunity. Yeah. Uh, his opportunity maximized by... Okay, very close. Yeah, we're just missing one word. Uh, Kareem maximizes every day uh, maximizes. his opportunity. So, uh, w w w how do you say that? Uh, Kareem. Oh, yeah. Kareem uh, maximizes his opportunity every day. So, his opportunity uh, maximizes. Oh, see, we're still missing that one word, the to be verb, brother. The second time you did it, yeah. Uh, is it is, was, been, something like that? That's what we're missing, yeah. So Kareem maximizes his opportunity every day, right? So his opportunity is... His opportunity, is his opportunity was maximized by Kareem. All right, so th th that's fine. Now, of course, we're talking... That now, now you're talking about as if it were in the past uh, tense. Cool. Yeah, uh, so that, that, that's what I noticed. I think I noticed that yesterday, too. Forget that to be verb. Uh, it's actually is, not was. Is, yeah, is. every day would be is, uh, right, or, or, or present tense. Yeah, the to be verb tells me about when it happened, when it's passive voice, right? Everybody say, Kareem, Kareem. Kareem. maximizes, maximizes. Opportunity. 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 opportunity, is maximized, is maximized. Is maximized. Yeah, by him. By right on, all right, Mr. Kareem, talking about Soheel here. Soheel, um... <laughs> Uh, okay. Uh, fast, uh, okay. So, so he'll uh, will fascinate a woman, huh? <laughs> so he'll will fascinate a woman. <laughs> so he'll. Will... <laughs> no, I'm talking about you. Yeah. yeah. So I'm saying that he, this this fellow here, he will uh, fascinate a woman, right? So. Uh, women must be fascinated by Now that's a fantastic sentence, but you're, yeah, you were just talking about it happening in the past. So how about to the few, don't don't help them, everybody. Yeah, uh, uh, Mr. Soheel will fascinate a woman. Yeah. Yeah, the woman must be fascinated by Soheel. You did the same thing again. You're talking about it being in the past. Yeah, so, how about how about yeah. tomorrow? Tomorrow he will fascinate a woman. Uh, the woman will be fascinated by Soheel. There you go. Cool. I think maybe insert the word tomorrow in there helped. Right? I don't know. All right. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> A woman will be fascinated. Yeah, that's it. All right, everybody say, so he'll. So he'll. Uh, will fascinate a woman. A woman will be fascinated. by so he'll. Yeah, you go. Uh, you are. It can be used as an adjective, right? There's passive voice. For adjectives, Fascinated, they said no fascinating. Yeah. When I am right. fascinated and the things are fascinating, they should be both. I think. You're absolutely right. I mean, that's exactly what happened to Adam. Same to you too. Yeah. Um, I guess it's a good time to bring this up. Yeah, uh, there's a there's a mis mistake in the computer. All right. I mean, you're absolutely right. Fascinated and ing are both adjectives. They can function both as adjectives. 
uh, you, you didn't you didn't get it wrong. So and uh, there was other issues with someone might may have misspelled something, and you shouldn't be counted against spelling in this class. That that's not mm -hmm. what this is about. And so they shouldn't have counted that against you. And I think it was something else about you you wrote you written exactly the right answer. And it says no no it's this and it's <laughs> it's exactly what you wrote down. So so uh, for everybody here, I'm just going to give everybody a bit of a bump. You know whenever I I record it into my grade book. Uh, I'll take into consideration unit one had some mistakes on the computer thing, so it'll bump up a few points just for everybody. Yeah, that make it, yeah, make it easier. All right. Hey, so so he's talking about Seda here. Seda, she's fascinated by her phone, right? Uh, Seda, uh, Seda. Uh. Seda has avoided intensity. Seda has avoided intensity. Her uh, intensity avoided by her intensity. Uh, don't don't help him. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, there you are not helping. Yeah. Had avoided by her. Okay, we'll try again one more time. All right. Um, so uh, she has avoided uh, intensity. She has avoided intensity. Right. Mm -hmm. Her intensity. Had avoided by her. Okay, same thing. We're missing the to be verb in there. All right. It's been. Yeah, it's been right. Exactly. That's it. So try to get. Um, uh, she has avoided intensity. She has she has intensity had, has been avoided by her. That's right. You're going, and you're still trying to use the past perfect. Past perfect is used for a special situation when you're talking about someone's history. By the time I joined uh, my, uh, by the time I got married, I had already been married, and uh, I'm sorry. By the time I, <laughs> by the time I got married, I had already finished college. At any rate, it's for a different situation. Has uh, it takes into consideration the present to the past? And anyway, uh, but I had past perfect don't use as often. Everybody say, uh, Seda. Seda. Seda has avoided, has avoided. Intensity. intensity, intensity, intensity has been avoided, has been avoided. By, Seda. by Seda. Oh, Seda, why did you do that? Yeah. Okay, so Seda, uh, oh, uh, talking about your friend, Ms. Angie, here. Uh, Angie interacts with criminals. <laughs> 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 Angie interacts with criminals. I just like to say, Are we criminals? <laughs> I'm not implying that. Not necessarily. It could be a different group of people that she interacts with. So Angie interacts with criminals. So actually, my. Stay away. This one's a little harder because it uses a preposition, but anyway, uh, uh, give it a shot anyway. Uh, so she interacts with. Uh, Wait, wait, did she I say simple present? Yeah. She, she interacts with criminals, yeah. Simple present. Uh, criminals um, are interacted by Angie. Okay, that's close enough. Yeah, that's right. That's how I might say it. Interacted with. Yeah. Yeah, um, yeah or actually, right. interacted with by her. Yeah, at any rate. Or they are interacted, maybe. I would understand you still. Yeah, these, these, uh, some of these verbs that use prepositions like uh, interact with and confide in. Uh, they don't work as well for passive voice and so, but um, but at any rate, I still wouldn't understand you. Right on, that's fine. You'll get it. All right, Ms. Angie talking about Dilshad here. Uh, Dilshad, um, okay, so uh, that new book uh, will stimulate Dilshad. Huh. That new book will stimulate Dil Dilshad's. Dilshad will be stimulated by that new book. Woo! That's right. Cool. Everybody say Dilshad. Dilshad, Dilshad will be stimulated, will be stimulated by, that book. by that new book. That new book, that new book will, will stimulate, will stimulate her. her. Right on. Right on. Cool. Uh, okay, Ms. Dilshad talking about Anna here. Um, um, Anna. Yeah. Uh, Anna has. Hmm. I'm doing too slow here. Okay. Did you know that? Uh, I'll try to make it more conversational. Did you know that uh, that Anna here? She. Um, um, all right. Try another one. Uh, all right. She has hired many volunteers. 
did that already, but she many has hired. Volunteers. Yeah, she, uh, she has hired many volunteers. Many volunteers has been hired by. Anna. Yeah, very close. Have been. Has Actually, been. I think I heard the same thing earlier. Has. Yeah. Uh, volunteers is plural, right? It's yeah. have yeah, with a B. Yeah. No big deal. That's a small thing. Yeah, no big deal. Everybody say she has. She yeah. has. Uh, volunt uh, 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 hired. 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 Many volunteers. Many volunteers. Many volunteers. Many volunteers. Many volunteers. Have been hired. Have been hired. By her. So Miss Anna talking about yeah here. So yeah. Uh, yeah. We'll. Okay. Um, So uh, yeah, yeah, we'll um, uh, enjoy uh, achievement. Yeah, we'll enjoy achievement. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's right. That's all. It's super duper. Okay, super duper. Um, I really would like to do something else now. Um, yeah, well, that's okay. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, keep going around one more time, okay? So, yeah, talking about Ms. Uh, yaha. Ms. Uh, yeah, mm, Yaha. Uh, yo, yo. Talking about your neighbor here, okay? Ho Yun. Am, am I right? Yes. Ho Yun, all right. Talking about Ho Yun. She, um, she had confidence. She had, she had confidence. All right, so she had confidence. Hide. No, no. Hide. <laughs> all right. Oh, I tell you what. Actually, for the second round, what I'll do for for all of this, I'm going to use the verb have or had. And now I may be using yeah. it as a helping verb or uh, to mean to own. Uh, what I meant to say is that she had confidence. All right. So she owned confidence. Think of it that way. Um, I'm not using the help. Oh, I didn't really go over this, but yeah, you know, uh, we'll, 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 this will be good as a as a lesson also. So, she had confidence. Oh, what do y'all think, y'all? Yeah? Hmm? Confidence. Confidence was. Mm -hmm. Was had. Yeah. Yeah. Was had. Was was owned. Was was possessed by her. Yeah. Sometimes have and had can be uh, main verbs, right? To mean possess. Or sometimes it's a helping verb with the present perfect. Uh, that's okay. Yeah, yeah. Well, we'll do it together. All right. All right. She, she. Uh, had confidence. Had confidence. confidence was had. Confidence oh. was had. Had is past tense of have owning. Right. Okay. Ms. Uh, uh, Ho Young. How about this one? Confidence oh. had been. Not had been. Well, what was the sentence? Sure. Uh, okay. She uh, she had confidence. Yeah. Right? yeah. So. Confidence had been by her? No, no, uh, had been is just a helping verb. We need a main yeah. verb now. Confidence had been had. Yeah, confidence. I know that sounds crazy, but that's, yeah. Okay, anyway. Good, we'll, 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 we should go over that then. All right, so uh, so we'll, we'll try to use that. Uh, talking about uh, Ahmed here, um, he has intensity. He has intensity. Intensity is is a had by. That's right. That's right. So he has intensity right now. Intensity is right now had by him. Oh, is that confusing, y'all? Okay. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I don't know what I'm about. Okay. 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 But well, I need to illustrate this a little better now. All right. So. So. Uh, I'll make this kind of a lesson too. He has uh, intensity. Okay. This is your uh, main verb. It means to own or to possess. Right. Okay. So you can also use um, ha have here as a helping verb. All right. Uh, helping verb. So for example, in present perfect, right? Uh, she has. And whatever the main verb is, right? She has used intensity. Intensity. All right. Uh, this again is your helping verb. All right. Um, has can be either be used as a main verb here, or it can be used as a helping verb. And so 
when I hit, hit you with one of these, you don't know what it is, so it'll be kind of a practice for that, okay? So Ahmed, oh, or I'm sorry, oh, you got it right, yeah. Uh, Ahmed, you're next talking about Adam here. Adam, um, Adam, Adam has had confidence. Adam has had confidence. Uh, confidence uh, has been had. Yes. Right. Yeah, confidence has been had. So now I'm using the helping verb and the main verb, both have. Follow? Yeah. All right, so everybody say, he has had, he he has had, had confidence. confidence. Oh, Sometime in the past he did. Yeah. yeah he, um, confidence has been had. Confidence. Sometime in the past, past perfect, or present perfect, right? Okay, Mr. Adam, we're talking about Muhammad here. Um, Muhammad, um, Muhammad will have intensity. Will have mm -hmm. intensity. Intens intensity will be had. Will be had by him. That's it. Had past per uh, past participle of have is had. Right. You had it. Very good. Everybody see, he will have intensity. He will have intensity. Intensity will be had. Intensity will be had. had. Will be had, is what I'm saying. Yeah, intensity will be had by him. Oh, Muhammad talking about Jin back there. Jim, uh, Jin, I beg your pardon. Jin, um, um, uh, he has resilience. Resilience has been by him. No. Nope. Has been had by him. All right. Uh, I'll give you a clue. Uh, he has resilience every day. Yeah. He, resilience he. is had by him. There you go. That's it. That's it. Yeah. So oh, everybody say, he has resilience. He has resilience. Yeah, resilience is had. Resilience is had. By him. By him. And, and don't worry, y'all. I'm not grading this part. This is more a participation part, okay? Yeah, don't, don't be discouraged or anything. All right, Mr. Jin, talking about Sean here. Um, Sean um, has interacted with criminals, all right? No, 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 hold on, hold on, no, no, okay, uh, mi uh, Mr. Okay, Mr. Jin has had stimulation, he has had stimulation, uh, Sean, I'm sorry, Sean has Sean. had, Sean has had stimulation, stimulation is, right now he has it, right? Yeah, I'm sorry, Sean has had stimulation, okay. sorry, yeah. Yeah. Sean has had stimulation. Sean has had stimulation. Flip it around. Has been. By Sean. Yeah. So in this case, uh, Sean has had stimulation. Flip it around. Uh, mm -hmm. Was. He has been, and then your main verb, had. You're making sense? Has been had. Right making sense now? Yeah. Uh, oh, what the hell? Oh, hey, where's my wallet? Ah, <laughs> that's a joke. Okay. Uh, all right. She has had uh, intensity. All right. And uh, he, uh, so intensity has been had. All right, so, go. Sean has had uh, intensity, etc. All right, so ready, Mr. Uh, Mr. Sean, you try this one? Um, actually, folks, I tell you what, uh, do you all have any more comments or questions about passive voice? No. Not necessarily? No. Okay. Uh, I think we may call it for now. Okay, but uh, you're not going home. I'm, I'm give, uh, changing gears. We're doing something different right now. Okay. Um, I want to show you, uh, give hand this out. This is um, something that might be useful <laughs> uh, for the weekend. Tell you what, uh, everybody will get uh, two pieces of paper. Um, we're going to pass this around. You're going to get this paper and this paper, okay? And we'll go over a little bit of it, but this will be more of a resource over the weekend that you can draw from. So, uh, there you go. I'll pass that around. Boop, 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 boop. Let's go ahead and say it together. I'll just read some of this. Everybody say, uh, she agreed to speak. 
Yeah, or as I might say, uh, they enjoyed working. They enjoyed working. All right. Actually, uh, I should start. I should start off this whole thing this way. I'm sorry. Um, yeah, I love smoking. All right. Let's say that together. Everybody say, I love. Remember, you get two pieces of paper. All right. Two pieces of paper. Everybody say, I love smoking. I love to smoke. I love to smoke. Yeah, that's great. Thanks, Anna. Awesome. You too. Bill said it? All right. Wait a second. Um, can I say both? Are both of these correct? Is that, is that grammatically the same thing? I mean, yeah. grammatically correct? No, still smoking. This, this one sounds right, right? Yeah. yeah. Actually, okay, both of these are correct. Now, um, my second question is, I love smoking, I love to smoke. Do they mean the same thing? Maybe something different? Well, generally speaking, basically, they mean basically the same thing. All right, let me try this one. Um, I uh, enjoy uh, smoking. Uh, is that okay? Grammatically speaking? Yeah. Good, okay. Can I say, uh, I enjoy to smoke? Can I say that? No. No. Okay, wait a second. Why not? No, it's not that. Yeah. That's right, yeah. This is the issue. This cannot go to the infinitive afterwards. Enjoy, uh, either you can go to a noun, or I enjoy, I enjoy cigarettes, right? Or I enjoy Jared, the activity. Not infinitive. Right. But love can go to either one. Exactly. Um, another example of this, um, you know. All right, so for example, I agreed to smoke. Everybody say, I agreed to smoke. I agreed to smoke. Is that okay? Does that sound okay, grammatically speaking? <laughs> I don't know. Yes, it's fine. It's okay. It's good. Uh, can I say, I agreed smoking? No. No, that sounds crazy. No, that's definitely wrong. Yeah, definitely wrong. I agreed. Smoking would definitely be wrong, right? Again, the same issue is this. This going to that is fine, but this going to that is not cool. So you notice that there are certain categories of verbs that can go to either a gerund or to an infinitive. You all know that a gerunds and infinitives, those basically, these are verbs that act like nouns. See, these are basically noun, verb, noun, basically. It's an activity, right? Some verbs can either go to uh, can, can go to g uh, gerunds only, but not infinitives. And then there's a third category of uh, there's many categories, but <laughs> the third category where the, the they can go to an infinitive, but not the gerund. By the way, do you all need me to explain what gerunds and infinitives are? Somebody, maybe. Yeah, let me write that on the board. Yeah, you're gonna have uh, homework about this. So, good question. Uh, a gerund is ing, okay, talking about, uh, it's basically a noun that acts like a verb, I'm sorry, a verb that acts like a noun, all right, and then uh, infinitive is to something, okay, that's what that is, all right, at any rate, here's a list of uh, verbs that follow an infinitive, right, agreed, everybody say, she agreed, she agreed to speak. I aim to please you. I aim to please you. Each day, I arrange to let you. Okay, and again, you could be to eat, to sleep, to whatever. But the key is that the verb arrange will either go to a noun or an infinitive, but not a gerund. Is that making sense? So you got two options. Okay. Everybody say, they ask, they they ask, ask to have lunch. To have lunch. Uh, they ask to eat lunch. They ask to buy lunch. Uh, I attempt uh, yeah. to jump over to jump the bed every day. I attempt to you know, buy something. I attempt to speak English. 
I attempt to something, right? I am able, I am able to, see to see ghosts. I begin to speak. I begin to speak. Yeah, I begin to eat. I begin to buy. I begin to. Ch I'm sorry. I choose to follow you. I choose to follow you. Uh, I continue to allow. I continue to allow. Etc. Uh, et uh, I decide to let you. I decide to let you. Uh, I would never say I decide letting. No, not letting. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you, you notice this is happening. This is the verb, and basically we're taking a verb after it and, and changing it to a gerund or infinitive so that it's grammatically correct, right? All right, again. Uh, so, everybody say, I deserve, I deserve to have that. To have that. I, deserve to I deserve to eat dessert. I deserve to, you know, uh, have love or whatever. Okay, uh, everybody say, I expect, I expect to get money. I expect to see you. I expect to whatever, smell something. It doesn't matter. All right. Everybody say, I fail to pass. I fail to pass. Yep, yep. Uh, I fail to uh, compliment you, whatever. Uh, I fail to remember, whatever. I, for, uh, I forget I to lock the door. I forget to, you know, whatever. Close the door. I forget to whatever it is. But it's always to something. Do y'all follow what's happening? Yeah, kind of? Okay. I hope to see you again. I hope, I hope to see, see you again. again. Okay. I hurry to arrive. I, I, to arrive. I like to swim. I, like to swim. I, long, to I long to see you again. Long is a verb, which means I desire. That's an old-fashioned word for desire. I desire to see you again. All right. I long to see you again. That's kind of an old-fashioned word. Okay. I offer to let you sleep here. I offer to let you sleep here. Or you could say, uh, if you want to say, I am offering to let, you know, it doesn't matter whatever verb form you put here, it's always an infinitive after it, right? Uh, I have offered to let you stay here. Uh, I offered to let you stay here. I will offer to let you stay here. Uh -huh. This, the, whatever form of offer it is, it's either a noun or an, or an infinitive. You follow? I know this is a lot to hit you with at one point, but you're going to get a chance to practice this weekend. Okay. I try to forget. I will try to forget. I will try to eat a lot of you know, good things this weekend. I want to see your face. I wish to see your face. Okay, that's pretty common. Uh, these um, are examples of, uh, I'm not going to go through all of them, but uh, basically these are uh, uh, verbs that are often followed by a gerund. Okay? There's enjoy, admitted, uh, advise. Uh, these are not as common as the infinitives, but at any rate, um, avoid, you avoid helping people. I don't say you avoid to help people. Yeah. Cool. At any rate, um, nine, miss, practice, resume. Okay. Um, and um, well, I also uh, printed off a, uh, uh, some, a back of a grammar book here. This might be uh, useful to you. These are, it's basically the same thing. These are basically verbs that uh, go with gerunds. Okay, this is just another list of the same sort of pattern. Okay, yeah. There's some verbs that go with a gerund, uh, verbs with a preposition and then a gerund. Uh, you don't have to worry about that. Um, verbs plus an infinitive, verbs uh, plus uh, infinitive and gerund. Okay, but anyway, this uh, I think for, for the, your unit, you basically just need these three different categories. Some of some words you can uh, go to either a gerund or an infinitive, or some of these you can go to only the gerund, and some of these you can only go to the infinitive. Whew. Y'all doing okay? Y'all making sense? Yeah. I promise that's a lot. That's a lot. That's a lot to give you, but you will get a chance to practice over the weekend. Tell you what. Um, yeah, there's homework on your on your my English lab for gerunds and infinitives, and I hope maybe this will be a resource for you. And there's also some resources in your book, too, okay? Yeah. Uh, hang on, hang on. Here. Two, eight, one. Two, two, two. Two, yeah, zero, six, eight, seven. That's my, te that's the telephone number to this, okay? If you're totally confused, feel free to call me, seriously. Yeah, hey, what is this about? And I'll be happy to help you with that, all right? Um, 
Okay, uh, let's blow off some steam. Let's have some fun. Let's have a little uh, game, huh? Yeah. Speaking of. Okay. This is what's going to happen here. You know how to play this? Huh? Alright. Okay, so I've got a device here and it's. Uh, turn it around. This side. So let's see. This side and that side, huh? Let's do that, okay. So this team's called. Uh, this side. And we'll call you guys that side. Alright? This is how it works. I'm going to give you uh, about one minute. Do you have a timer? Yeah. Yeah, I'll let you do it. <laughs> Thank you. Um, basically, there's a little uh, a wheel of words here. And uh, you'll see one word written here. Let's say the word that you see here uh, is the word uh, fireman. One of you is going to come up here and you've got uh, you, you, yeah, you got to give clues. Uh, okay, this is a per uh, this is a person that uh, puts water on uh, burning things. Uh, uh, what is that? What is that? Uh, 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 fireman. And you guys say fireman. And then if it's this that gets it, you cannot say fire. You cannot say man. I cannot say fire. I cannot say man. And then hit the next word. All right. And you've got about one minute to do it. Okay. So I tell you what. I'll go first to demonstrate. And the question is, uh, can you can you beat the American? That's me. All right, so that's me, J.S. Jeremy Smith. All right, give me a timer. Ready? Okay. Three, two, go. one. Now? What? Go. Oh, okay, okay. Um, hey, this is a, uh, an area of uh, when you buy clothes and they're pretty clothes and women. How about uh, uh, no? Stop and change it. Never mind. Okay. Uh, a long tooth that a uh, wal walrus what? has. What? Uh, yeah, a walrus has a tooth, and an uh, elephant has a long tooth. That's called a no, no. Uh, it's called a tusk. Get it? All right, cool. All right. Uh, okay, this is a something I sleep on at night in my bed. It's a bed that's on top of the bed springs. That's right. Got it. All right, good. Uh, okay, this is. I heard it over there first. Okay, good. And the next one. Uh, this is another. You won't know that. You know, I'm not gonna know that word. Okay. Um, I go on the on Sunday. I go to a worship and this place. Church, church. Yeah. got it over here. Got it. All right. Uh, yeah. Stomach. Yeah. I heard it over here first. Okay. Stomach. Uh, okay. Oh, when a when a dog does this. Um, wagging. Wagging. Yeah, it's called a wag. Very good. Uh, got it. All right. One minute. See. Can you beat the American? Huh? Five points? Yo. Who's gonna come up first? Someone has it. Anna, come on up here. Yeah, come on. You're first, okay? Ow. Yes! <laughs> Alright, so give her a hand, everybody. Yeah! Alright. Alright? Uh, right? So you count down. Three, two, one, alright? Ready? Water. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, yeah. Okay. Five minutes, five minutes. Five minutes. Five minutes. Four. Is that Again. Okay. Oh, okay, ready? Give her a timer. All right. Yeah. Three, two, one. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay. Three. Uh, 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 three, two, one. Skip it. Skip it. You don't know? Skip, skip it. Good. Good. Go. Start it. Yeah. Uh, the place where you buy your groceries. Oh, good. Oh, uh, Supermarket? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, uh, you're on this side, right? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. That's side. That side. That side. That side. No, this side. That side. That side. That side. This side. This side. What is this? There are eight people. <laughs> Like uh, usually, women like everybody. Two. Now, one to here. 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 No, one to here. 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 Oh, oh, no. Phrases. Phrases. Good. Yeah, you got it. What? Crazy? Huh? 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 Yeah. Oh yeah, go. Yeah. Crazy. Crazy. Yeah. Crazy. Five. No, no, no. Crazy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and now it's time. Okay, now you're done. Okay, all right, give her a hand. Yeah. People up here that have never done this before. All right, all right. Oh man, oh man. All right. So, uh, all right. 
time for one more guy. What about we have Mr. Sean come up here? Yeah, come up. Yeah, Sean. All right, one minute, and then that's it. Okay, Sean. New words. Last guy. Hello. Uh, he's an artist. Musician and artist? It's an actor. Actor? No, no, no. Actor, painter, painter. Painter, painter. 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 Election board. 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 Yeah, we can buy it, buy it. Yes. You crack me up, man. Uh, you know what that means, right? You made me laugh. Crack me up. Oh, yeah, you know what that means.